Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Kashish Mandratta. In this video, I will be discussing about multi-map and unordered multi-map. We have already discussed about the map and unordered map in our previous video. So this was the reference from there. We have discussed the map first and then we have discussed about unordered map. In this video, I will be discussing about multi-map and unordered multi-map. So multi-map has the same structure as of map. This is not how it is represented in memory. This is a logical view of how we can see a map. So it has iterators as that of it has same iterators as that of the map. So most of the functionality means almost all functionality of map and multi-map are the same. Just the difference is that in a map we just store unique keys means if a value of key as one exists in a map then a new pair with the same key cannot exist but in a multi-map two values can have the same key so in a multi-map this is allowed but in a map this is not allowed so it's just a group of key value pairs and the data we get from multi multi-map is also sorted so let's see multi-map in action so i have created a function to print the multi-map so multi-map has two input types the first type depends uh, tells us that what is the type of the key and the second tells what is the type of the value so we are iterating for each pair in a multi-map and for each pair pr.first prints the first value of that pair that is the key and pr.second prints the second value of the pair that is the value so it prints all the key value pairs in a map so i have created a multi-map uh, with key int and value int and i have inserted five elements we can insert them in any way so in the previous video i have discussed about what are the various methods but uh, what are the various ways by which we can insert in a map so similar applies for multi-map also we can insert any pair directly uh, writing the pair name or using the pair constructor function or using the make pair function or using the curly braces or we can directly assigning value to a key that doesn't exist it also creates a new pair for us so these all methods apply but i have shown here just the one so let's print the multi-map so that we, uh, we can see that how it is stored okay so the multi-map exists and you can see that duplicate values are allowed in multi-map so but that is not allowed in case of a simple map now let's erase some value so let's say that i want to erase the first element so I can write m dot mp dot erase the iterator to that position. So iterator to the first position would be mp dot begin. So that will erase our first element that is first pair in our map. So let's see that how it looks after deletion of the first pair. So you can see that here it starts with the pair one comma two and then one comma three, but now it starts with the pair one comma three. So the first pair has been deleted. Uh, also, other thing I would like to tell you that here the it doesn't look for any values. Means there is means the values can also be sorted. Just like one one can be at the top one two then one three. But that's not the case. If the keys are same, the first pair would be the value which is inserted first time. And just like one two was inserted before one one, so one two appear uh, before one comma one. So this is. Uh, how we can erase using an iterator we can erase using the value also so uh, till this point this was our map it has two ones now if let's see what happens when we erase by value means we just pass the key so i am saying that erase erase the pairs with the key one so let's see what happens So you can see that uh, after this point we have said that erase all the elements with having the key one so it has deleted both the pairs so what i uh, i am saying that use this when we want to to delete all the occurrences all occurrences of a key okay so use this when to use this when we want to delete just one occurrences so we find a point iterator to that and we can delete that use this when we want to delete one occurrences of a key 
so we can delete either way either we can pass a iterator or we can pass a key which we want to delete so let's remove the deletion and come back to our original state when we have three ones and three four and four three pairs okay so now let's see that how we can find we can do find in the similar way as we find in map so i can say that mp dot find let's say itr equals to mp dot find it returns a uh, iterator so uh, let's say i want to find with the key three okay so it will return an iterator so if the if the key with the three is found for example if the key with the three is found then it will return an iterator to this position and we can use that pair using itr arrow first and itr second this is how we use the pair by name this is how we use the pair by a pointer so that returns a pointer and if the key was three not found then it would have returned the end of the map so we can check that whether key is not found using uh, by comparing the value of itr and mp dot end so if these two are equal means the value is not found so we can say that pair with key one uh, key three is not found as or we can say pair with the given key is not found generalizing okay uh else we can just print the key value pair uh it's itr first then itr second okay okay so now let's run that so you can see that a uh, pair with the key 3 has been found so it has printed that uh, if we see something which doesn't exist then it will say that pair with the given key is not found okay so it displays that pair with the given key not found other functions like uh, how we access the particular elements uh, that same so for example if we want to access the value with the given key so we can write mp and then square brackets and the value of key so if this key exists it will return the value otherwise it will return zero okay so here just like i was having a map and 987 was not there so mp of 987 would have given zero and mp or mp of 54 would have given 43 and uh, the size and empty is also same as that of the map so we can check also that so let's check these functions so you can say that we have the five elements and yeah we can count that 1 2 3 4 5 and zero means uh, map is not empty so this was all about the multi set and now we can see about unordered multi set so unordered multi set is the same uh, just let's let's just change some elements unordered multi set is just having one difference from multi multi map uh, i have used multi set but i mean multi map <laughs> so unordered multi map the keys are not sorted rest is same as that of multi map all the functions which apply to multi map apply here to unordered multi map also so i say unordered multi map and pass some different values uh, okay so let's see that so i have let's change here also okay so i have used unordered multi map and let's print that let's delete all the other stuff first or let let it remain okay so let's see what happens okay so you can see that the keys are not in the order as we have written and the keys are not in a sorted order so they are in a random order but we can see that all the key value pairs are there for example we have 
uh, we have put two key value pairs with the key three so both occurs here and this is print so all the functions of multimap are same because we have just changed the data type and all the functions are working fine so we are finding whether 12 exists or not so you can see that 12 exists so 12 of 43 was printed so printing out the size so size was printed and printing whether it was empty or not so it was not empty so this was all about the multi-map and unordered multi-map i hope you have understood all types of maps and all types of sets so this was all about this video meet you in the next video